Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited to be here! Round of applause for Ian Abramson, huh? You guys weren't that into him, huh? I got them there. I'm sure you weren't. I'm so excited to be here. I've always dreamed of auditioning for The Voice, and I feel like this is a big night for me. Tonight I am going to audition for The Voice, and I'm going to sing one of my favorite songs. This is Alicia Keys, If I Ain't Got You. I know that my fate rests in Celo's little hands, so hopefully this song will translate well. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If that ain't you, baby. If that ain't you, baby. Some people want diamond rings, but I don't. Want everything, cause everything means nothing. I ain't got you. Okay, I know it's a comedy show. I was fucking with you. Don't you guys get it? I'm fucking with you. I'm so excited to be here. When Ian first told me about this show, I was like, a comedy show with no audience? I feel like I'm at comedy sports. Because usually when I'm doing a comedy show, I like to get real physical with the audience. You know, I'm usually like that. I like, I like to go in there and show them the twins. You know what I mean? I call this guy Danielle, and this is Tiffany. How many girls have thrown their panties at the stage yet? A bunch? I'm probably a bunch, huh? I am excited to be here. I had a weird week. My dad told me this week, he told me that I text like a high school girl. That was weird. I think it's because I use a bunch of exclamation points and emojis, and I keep asking him if I can go on birth control. It's just like, that should have gotten more. I don't know how much it got, but whatever it got, it should have gotten more. Man, I, I, I do really respect girls that go on birth control, though. Because I've been trying to take a one-a-day vitamin lately. And girls who take birth control have to take that every day. And I've been trying to take this one-a-day vitamin every day, and already I'm pregnant, so it's just like... <laughs> uh, this is so weird! God damn it! You guys have no idea how erect I am right now. It's just like, whoa. This is true, though. This is kind of a weird thing. The first time I ever had sex with a girl, this is true. The first time I ever had sex with a girl, she told me that she had to take Plan B, which was killing herself. Oh. <laughs> she knew she was never gonna get this dick again. Folks! Oh. Folks! <laughs> oh, man. What a night. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited that Summer's here. I don't know about you guys, I had a brutal winner. I had a brutal winter. I had to spend my whole winter in a walking boot because I fractured my ankle drinking. I had to get this walking boot from a place called the Illinois Bone and Joint Institute. I told the doctor that sounds like one of my weekends, folks. <laughs> Seriously though, you bone the girl, you smoke the joint, then you give her the boot. Okay, did I get the foot in camera? Who knows, we'll never know. Some people want it all, but I want nothing at all. It was my first time with a doctor in a long time, though. I was worried I was going to have diseases I didn't even know about. The doctor was going to be like, yo, you fucked around and got New Gehrig's disease. I'd be like, what? He'd be like, no, seriously, you have type 2 diabetes. I'd be like, for sure, for sure. Earned it. Type 2 diabetes is kind of cool, though, because it's DIY. I lied to the doctor once when I was 15 years old. I lied to the doctor. This is so weird. Because uh, when I was 15 years old, my doctor was like, are you sexually active? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Which in retrospect is such a weird lie. Like, what was I going to gain from that? Like, the doctor was going to text my buddies like, yo, your boy is a legend. <laughs> Getting it wet at 15? I'm like, thanks, doc. I'm not to do that. I never got laid in high school. I had braces for all four years. 
And people would make fun of my braces constantly. They'd look at my braces and be like, yo, you're fat. <laughs> the weirdest kids on school. By the way, the camera adds 70 pounds. I weigh 120, but it's weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a real-world confessional right now. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that Sandy doesn't want me, because I, like, could give it. And she could give it, you know? <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm going to tell this joke, because this joke never works. And this time, I don't have to hear that it doesn't work. How many of you guys are familiar with the Manson family? I am familiar with the Manson family. Okay, I read a book called Helter Skelter about the Manson family. There was a woman in the Manson family named Sadie Mae Glutz. And she had Charles Manson's baby. And starting at age two, she said that she would fillet this baby. Which is crazy. It's like, they say today's kids are spoiled, huh? <laughs> you think I give a fuck? You think I give a fuck? <laughs> oh man. I saw a pornographic video once, it was called The Man with Two Dicks. What was weird about this video, first of all, I don't want to spoil it, but it was about a man with two dicks. And what was weird about it was, when the woman unzipped the guy's pants and saw that he had two dicks, her reaction was like, ah. Oh. Like, pleasantly surprised. Like, wouldn't you be fucking horrified? <laughs> it's as if that girl would be like, yeah, it's not really size that matters with the dick, it's more of a numbers game. <laughs> Two's nice. Two's a good surprise. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> like, if I unzipped a girl's pants and she had two vaginas, I would just be like, what's <laughs> Is this light on? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close with something. Folks, I don't do a lot of controversial humor, but tonight I feel like I can't see the crowd, so this is kind of the time for me to really say what I believe, you know? I have a lot of tenets, I have a lot of beliefs, I have a lot of feelings, I have a lot of feelings, feelings. Some people want it all, but I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna do some controversial beliefs. And you guys, I don't care if you like them, because that's what happens. Here are my controversial beliefs. <laughs> Hitler was a basic bitch. <laughs> yep. was really me. Not a nice thing to do. <laughs> and finally, this might be the most controversial, but Solange could get it. <laughs> right? Thank you guys so much. I've been Ian Anderson. Thank you so much, guys. Good night.